Hi, I'm Mark from Sony, and I'm here at Crossness Pumping Station here in London. Now, Sony have just released not just one new lens, but actually three new lenses as part of the APS-C range. That's the 11mm, the 15mm, and the 10 to 20 power zoom. So let's have a closer look at how these lenses can perform. So this brings the native lens range to 70. That's 47 full-frame lenses and 23 APS-C lenses. The Sony EMAT system means that you don't need an adapter to use APS-C lenses on full-frame bodies and full-frame lenses on APS-C bodies. It's a one-mount system from entry-level cameras to the high-end cinema line. They all have the following in common. They're compact, lightweight, with fast autofocus, they're ultra-wide angle and have high-quality images. And both from the far and closer, it's sharp throughout the whole focal length. The level of detail of all three lenses is excellent with some high resolution performances throughout all three lenses. Let's have a closer look at each lens starting with the 11mm f1.8. This small compact lens is perfect for landscape, movies, low light and vlogging. It's an excellent addition to the APS-C lens range. It's an ultra wide angle lens and is currently the widest in the range. Now, when you pair this with an A6100 body, you'll barely notice the weight and the size. It's 57.5 millimeters high and weighs only 181 grams. It can close focus at 0.15 meters and has a seven blade aperture for a good depth of field performance. It's an internal focus lens with no extension of the barrel and is sharp from the center to the corners, even at f8. This shows that the corners still show some detail. It has two linear motors for fast silent autofocus and focus breathes with suppression in movie mode. The 15mm f1.4 is ideal for landscape, portraits and close-up detail. It has a more premium feel over the other two lenses as well. It uses ED glass to suppress any artifacts and has internal focus with no extension of the barrel. It has an aperture ring, focus hole button and is dust and moisture resistant. As you would expect with a G lens, the autofocus is very fast. With the manual focus linear response technology, it gives you a smooth and creative look. And this lens is well suited to a body like the A6600. What a great lens to pair with the ZV-E10, the 10 to 20 millimeter power zoom. It's an ultra wide angle lens. It's 20% smaller than the current 10 to 18 millimeter and weighs less than 200 grams. Its internal power zoom is fast and smooth with the speeds of the zoom lever customizable in the menu of the camera. It's considerably sharper across the whole of the image when you compare this to the 10 to 18 and also the 16 to 50 power zoom. 10 to 20 has excellent close-up performance and is ideal for vlogging, wide-angle street and travel, and ideal for movie and film, especially with the power zoom lever. It uses ED glass and a spherical glass to produce high resolution images and also to reduce any artifacts. So these three lenses, ultra wide angle, compact and lightweight. I highly recommend them for all different types of photography, including filmmaking as well. And all three lenses are a great addition to the ever growing range of Sony native lenses.